We finished the non-conference off well. We didn't get all the wins that we wanted and that we needed, but I think we learned something from it and going to bounce back from the three losses that we have. 8-10 opener is always important for us just to show all the teams around the league that, that we're here and that we, we're about business and not worried about any team that's in our conference. You know, so we just come out and play like we normally play, play hard, play aggressive, just share the ball. You know, we're not worried about any team coming in to our home gym. We know we got the fan support. We got the... Uh, the student uh, support, so we're n really not worried about all of that. They're a really good team. I know Coach. He was uh, telling us some of their uh, some of their different some of the different players they have, and um, they can really stretch the floor. They have, I think, four or five shooters on the on the court at all times. It's going to be a tough challenge that we're looking forward to, and uh, hopefully, we can get our uh, conference season started off the right way. You definitely want to start off the, se the conference season one to know. You kind of want to make a statement to the other teams in the league saying. Like this year's not going to be different. We're going to be the same Dayton team like we have in the, like we have been in the past, and uh, we're looking for another uh, eight ten championship. Yeah, I mean it's it's uh, like it's water over the bridge, so to speak. You know, we put together a twelve game non conference schedule. It was difficult. Uh, we had a lot of adversity go through it. We've watched a lot of guys have to change their roles. So, you know, I think we've seen some guys step up and play some some good ball, and I, I think they're better for it as we head into January. So. Um, you know, conference play is an exciting time. You look all over college basketball right now, they're starting to get kicked off, and um, it's the start of a long grind. And uh, LaSalle, very impressive in studying them over the next, over the last three or four days. Probably as gifted of an offensive team as we've seen, and uh, it's going to present a lot of challenges for us. They play a very difficult schedule as well. I mean, you look at their schedule playing Villanova, Georgetown, Temples, um, you know, um, you know, it's, been, it's been, a, been a hard schedule as well. So I evaluate those guys as uh, being able to do what they've done on film to be able to translate us and when they get in the conference and you know averaging close to 85 a game they get two maybe first team all conference performers in Price and BJ Johnson right now and their other guys are really stepped up and I think they have good depth as well so uh, it's one of the more talented teams that we've seen and in the league they have a unique system a lot of switching uh, they like to play small at times and they put you in a lot of lineup predicaments um, they can play some zone. They've done a lot of different things to us over the course of our time to make things hard. And anywhere on the road is difficult. Um, you know, playing at UD Arena in some cases for us is a luxury. We have to make sure that it's not something we take for granted. It should be very hard to play us at home, not because of a great crowd, but because of our great effort. So we're going we're gonna to try and really get off to a good start by number one in conference in particular, starting off by playing, you know, with great pride in what we're doing and, and, and having a, the ability to take it um, game by game.